Welcome YouTube. The video you're about to see is a reaction video. It is a video of opinion. Nothing personal is meant toward the individuals in the videos. My volition uh, for posting these reaction videos is to look at these videos and critique them through the lens of correct sentence structure, communication, parse, syntax, grammar. Usually they are quantum grammar related videos and I'm looking for correct sentence structure knowledge here. And I'm also looking at the claims made in the videos through the lens of correct sentence structure, communication, parse, syntax, grammar. Now you may notice that I'm doing certain things with my hands. I am not making any secret hand signs or gestures. When one is doing public speaking, there's only so many things you can do with your hands. You can fold them, maybe put them on your hips, dangling lifelessly at your sides, put them in your pockets, hold them like this, whatever it is. I'm not making any type of signaling gestures, unless I do this, which means shaka. Keep in mind the information, the things that I'm sharing in this video are for educational purposes only, entertainment purposes only, nothing personal towards the individuals in the videos themselves. Thanks and enjoy. If you present a problem to maintain rule one, rule equal, you would necessarily have to present a solution. Now I've gotten some feedback on these reaction videos that I do. People seem to love them. And they are a very popular genre on YouTube right now. That's why I'm doing it. But I concentrate on the grammar. I audit grammar. I criticize grammar. And some people say, why are you know, being negative criticizing people and stuff like that? No, no, no. I'm not criticizing people. I'm criticizing grammar. Because that's what I do. I teach grammar. I've been teaching it for five years now. Teaching correct sentence structure, communication, parse, syntax, grammar. I have a position with which to do this. So if, in theory, I'm presenting a problem in these reaction videos where I'm critiquing grammar that is not correct, by the rudimentary standards of quantum grammar, I also present a solution. And that solution is www.youtube.com forward slash Jason Matthew Glass, where you will find over 300 grammar videos. The sum total of my correct sentence structure knowledge is on that channel. And you can learn it if you decide to invest time and energy and sweat equity in studying the videos. So that's the solution. On one hand, I have the problem, quote unquote problem, if you choose to look at it that way, these incorrect grammar and these individuals uh, promulgating this incorrect grammar. And then on the other hand, I have a solution, which is to learn it the correct way. And now people might say, well, what makes you think you're correct? Because I, quote unquote, put my money where my mouth is. I will explain anything to you. I will give you a venue for closure. I will take the quote unquote Pepsi challenge with anyone with, to do with this grammar. On the spot, in the now space, any place, anytime. I love it. I do it every day. Been doing it for a very long time. I'm very comfortable with it. That's why I do it and why I say this stuff. In the public. So again, if someone's going to publish something, a book or, or a video in the public, then it obviously it's open to the public scrutiny. I'm no exception. So I present a quote unquote problem and then I also have a solution, which is the correct grammar on my YouTube channel. I'm not saying I'm above and beyond reproach or that I don't make mistakes. Of course I make mistakes. And when they get pointed out to me, I correct them. I got no problem with that. See that's an important part of correct sentence structure also is humility to be able to say oh wow I was wrong I was wrong I, how can we fix this and then fix it and move on no big deal ego and pride have no place in this grammar unfortunately some people think that it does and that's why they're in the situation they're in and that's why they get audited so again it's nothing personal towards anyone that I'm auditing their grammar. I'm not auditing them. I'm auditing their grammar performances and looking at their knowledge level. Um, and you know, grammar isn't the only thing I audit on here. Definitely do the research for yourself. And so without further ado, let's get to it. Shout out to colon Josh hyphen David colon Adams 
who sent me this book after he saw my reaction video to The Wolf. So that I could look at the, the book myself and uh, see what's going on with it. As you can see here, there is no evidence of correct sentence structure on this cover. None. It's all adverb, verb, adjective, pronoun, fiction, babble. Not even the name is, is punctuated. So the game of quantum syntax grammar, a guide for getting started. So whoever this individual is looks at his subject matter as a game. So they give us a little closure on what syntax is. It's the arrangement of words and phrases to create well-formed sentences in a language. Uh, the rules or analysis of syntax language. I've done multiple videos on that. Uh, and they do a little uh, quote-unquote disclaimer here to say that it's a work in progress and the book may not be completely up to date or correct by the opinions of various teachers available on the internet. Meant for educational and discussion, not meant to constitute legal advice. Well, they just uh, pretty much told you that everything in this book might be bullshit. Or it might not. It's up to you to decide. So uh, all these things here pretty much were uh, addressed by that wolf fellow in his video that I reacted to about rules for grammar, talking about rules of syntax, pointing out mistakes, uh, talking about a piece of paper as a court. Now see, here's the thing. There's no certification for any of this. Now time is the game. Where's the certification? How does this person know that? They're not giving any sources for any of their material here. Nothing. Like right here, he says, uh, by keeping the jurisdiction, and then in uh, parentheses, he says, right speaking. So how is he, he making jurisdiction synonymous with right speaking? I mean, that may be the way he perceives it, uh, but it's not correct by any stretch of the imagination. All of this, there's no, no certification for where he's getting this knowledge. Um, yep, the wolf went over all this stuff about par se, uh, rules of contract, mind is a court too. Examine the document. Again, this is all par se. Nothing to do with syntax. Oh, here we go. Look at that. This is this individual's version of syntax. Just putting, just identifying the tenses, which is basically par se. He's not showing any adverbs, no verbs, no adjectives, no pronouns. Nope, no correct sentence structure, communication, parse, syntax, grammar, knowledge here. It's just parse. And they're giving some uh, tips on, I guess, things that they use. Like, for example, this says across the top of the page, we might write, Stop and correct colon space, private colon space for the void of perjury. Oh my goodness. That is nowhere near correct sentence structure. Not even close. Here we go. Here's some uh, parts of speech. Conjunction, adverb, verb, adjective, pronoun, position, article. It's not article. It's lodial. And it's not noun. Oh my goodness, it's fact. When was this book published? 2020. Oh, wow. Symbol use with the correction. A tilde equals a negative prefix? 
Okay, I'm not even going to get into that. Let's see, what's this say? For the authorization of a correct sentence structure is with the claim of the backwards authority with operational orders, those two no contract words right there, of each word, with each word connection of the front words and backwards. That's not correct because there's no authority in that. For these words of the starting, we got the ing modifier vowel. Oh my goodness. Nope. No correct sentence structure there. Uh, let's see. Definitions. Definitions are no no's because de means no, finite means limit, ion means contract. It's no finite contract, therefore, would not use that word. Talking about the master pattern. Let's see. Phrase, verb, phrase. Uh, for, of, with. There's a theme to the madness. We might say, for the playtime of the ball is with the pleasure of the owner. That is not correct because there's no authority. And owner has a particle of negation in it. Time is also... Uh, no contract, but in any case, the sequencing could actually be corrected to for the playtime of the ball is with the pleasure of the owner. You could say for the playtime of the ball is with the pleasure by the owner and for the owner of the pleasure is with the ball by the playtime, which that's a very, that's like a kindergarten level sentence, but the sequencing would be correct if you would just correct the of to a by. There's no authority to it. For a rule of the syntax is with the maintenance by the now time. For the now time of the maintenance is with the syntax by a rule. There's one that has correct positional sequencing, if not the absence of particles of negation. Eliminate all negative prepositions. Eliminate negative prefixes. I don't know what he means by negative prepositions, but... Uh... Oh, here we go. Universal legal technology. This is not correct sentence structure. It is not colon David Eiffel Wynn colon Miller who wrote this. A student of David's wrote that book. A student who obviously did not have closure on the grammar. So that explains this. Apparently, this author, James Merle Cloud, is using uh, is using universal legal technology, not correct sentence structure. See this a lot of people will use this as an example, but this is not correct. This, these sentences. For the people of the Father is, okay, is is the incorrect verb because people is plural. It would be are with the creation by the Father. And then you would, you know, it would be the end of the sentence by the Father it would be the end. That's the authority. Now you have to start a new sentence with a new cause for the knowledge and then you wouldn't have in because what's congruent with in out so the knowledge will be out the heaven instead of in the heaven okay this is this is nonsense um eh. nothing really to do with the grammar there i don't think it goes into some administrative processes oh yeah this is talking about fiction some fiction solutions using fiction against the fiction. Nothing to do with correct sentence structure. Goodness gracious, common law. Again, nothing to do with correct sentence structure. Consent. This is actually, you know, I'm just uh, skimming over this. This is actually pretty good right here explaining consent and how that works. Um, 
But as far as specific ways to deal with the fiction, this is just using fiction against fiction, nothing to do with correct sentence structure. Let's look here. Um, John Henry Doe, plenty of, oh my goodness. No positioning. Contracting persons, oh, no authority. No positioning of these facts. These facts should be, not only are they, are they locations, but if there's no space there, it's supposed to be a compound fact. There would be hyphens in between them as well. And then we got some titles here. I think they must have, this is a reprint. This was already used earlier in the book. Ultimate Jurisdiction. Uh, what, what is this? Some kind of story. I guess it's some sort of uh, story here. And ah, you are law. Okay, here we go. This explains it. I did a reaction video to a you are law video, and they definitely don't have any syntax knowledge over there. This explains it also. Uh, completely different than. Correct sentence structure, communication, parse, syntax, grammar. What? The Closet of Regrets is included in my book, King Alexander Gold. Main character, Priest King, according to the Order of Melchizedek. Oh my. And don't really know what that feller is getting up to. But one thing I can tell you, it doesn't have anything to do with correct sentence structure, communication, parse, syntax, grammar. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it provided some clarity on the subjects mentioned. You can email me at the email address that's uh, been screened at the bottom of your picture for the whole video, jasonmatthewg17 at gmail.com. If you have any grammar questions, or if you wish to participate in a 10 to 15 minute video consult, or if you wish to apply for a correct grammar workshop, you can email me there. Uh, please like and subscribe to this channel and also my Coral Blade Grotto channel, if you'd like. And always remember that authority comes from knowledge and the skill in conveying that knowledge and closure. Thanks. Okay.